This is the Argandab Valley, the gateway to Kandahar City, and in recent months where the US military has been focusing much of its activity. This, the American ambassador recently told me, is the place where you'll see progress in southern Afghanistan. If you had gone into the Argandab district a year ago, you would not have found many schools functioning now. Now there is basic education functioning in the Argandab. If you had gone there a year ago, you would not have found pomegranates that are being now transported to Kandahar and exported to Dubai. Al Jazeera traveled to Argandab to find out if that's the way ordinary people see things. The fighting came at a difficult time, coinciding with the harvest in one of the most fertile valleys in the region. Some locals are angry about the damage and destruction. The community is in pieces. We've lost 90% of our income. Everything has been destroyed. There is suffering and pain. I went to complain to the Americans. What are you doing? You've made a road through my fields. You are destroying my crop. It's definitely true that for now, Taliban attacks have decreased. But part of the valley, we were warned by police, is still very unsafe. The Taliban do not have a fixed base here anymore, but since this operation, they carry out guerrilla attacks. A pattern has emerged in recent years after major NATO operations. The Taliban tend to melt away, joining the local population or leaving the area, only to return once NATO's attention has turned in another direction. The real test of what happens here in Argandab could be months away. The US military carry out snap patrols on the road into Argandab, but in the long term, it's the police who must take control of security. Most of the officers here are not locals, some come from the north of Afghanistan, they're not popular and some are not disciplined. At this checkpoint we found police and intelligence officers making threats and stealing fruit, those pomegranates that the US ambassador said was such an important sign of progress. James Bays, Al Jazeera, in the Argandab Valley.